while doing fish surveys this fall, biologist Adam Strainer witnessed one of nature's amazing transformations. When you walk up a spawning trib that has a two to three pound kokanee salmon that's gone through these amazing morphological changes and they're bright red, they're in six inches of water and they're just doing their thing and they let you just stand there and watch them. It's a pretty, pretty incredible thing to witness. Kokanee are a landlocked version of sockeye salmon. First introduced into Flathead Lake more than 100 years ago, you can find kokanee in water bodies across Western and Central Montana. And much like their ocean counterparts, Montana kokanee experience the same life cycle. So generally, kokanee are planted in Montana water bodies around three inches, and it takes them about two to two and a half years to grow to full size, whatever that full size looks like. Basically, the end of their second summer, they begin to go through their morphological changes. The nose and, and jaw lengthen, they develop a large hump, they turn reddish colors, and then typically in September, they'll start to congregate near the mouth of a tributary if they're gonna make a spawning migration or start to congregate generally where they were planted in a reservoir. Then their life cycle basically ends once they spawn October, early November, and then they die and the process starts all over again. While some of Montana's kokanee make this incredible transformation, Fish, Wildlife and Parks primarily manages salmon to be caught and eaten. Kokanee salmon in general just draw anglers and harvest-oriented anglers to various water bodies across Montana. The unique thing about kokanee salmon is they're accessible throughout the year. You can target them via vertical jigging through the ice. You can troll for them in the open water seasons. And then in the fall, when they're spawning and congregated, there are more liberalized snagging seasons available in certain locations. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.